The reason I hold the position I do is, first of all, because it seems to me to fit in with what the Bible actually says. Secondly, it fits in very well with what early Christian writers said about how they interpreted the Bible, and they stand much closer to the text than we do. For example, Augustine writing about the year 400, in other words, you know, 1600 years ago, just saying, look, it, I read Genesis, it's obvious what it's saying, there's an initial moment of creation, and then there's a period of growth, development, as God achieves what he wants to be there through a process of development. It doesn't use the word evolution, but it's a development creation. Creation is about an event and a process. And thirdly, you have to look at the science. I mean, science in one sense is neutral. It's not anti-Christian. What I want to say to you is, look, I found a position which I think holds all of these things together. Faithful to scripture, faithful to the Christian tradition, faithful to science. So what do I think is the, the really important message of Genesis, say Genesis 1 to 3? Um, there are so many things there. There are some things that are not important at all. We may fuss about them. Chronology, who cares? The point that Genesis wants to make is this. This world is God's creation. It owes its existence to God. And in some way, the goodness and wisdom of God is expressed in the created order. Then secondly, we are part of that created order. But we are not identical with, we're made with God's image. That means there's something about us, which means that we are able to discern God, but above all, we are accountable for the use we make of the creation. To in effect say we bear God's image is not about privilege, it's about accountability and responsibility. And then thirdly, of course, Genesis 3 tells us we're messed up. You know, in effect, we are, there's something about us that means we are intrinsically inclined to do wrong, to seek the lesser good. And it means we need God's grace if we're going to become the people we're meant to be and also look after this world as we're meant to.